All right, so this is gonna be a super short video, but we got a big sale that I wanna talk about because I just sold a cardboard box on eBay for $150. And we'll get to that in a minute, but right now we just got back from an estate sale and we got some pretty cool items and I wanna show you what we found flip on eBay. April picked up three boxes of these Dr. Shulver's detox kits. There's the other one over there. These should go for around $50 each. We got all three of them for six bucks total. So that's gonna be a good flip. And the one that's even better are these right here. These little detox dripper bottles, these should go for 20 each and we got all of them for $2. <laughs> Items like these are usually overlooked and underpriced at estate sales. So if you can find items that fall into this category, definitely pick them up because you can make some money. Everything $100 and under was 50% off. This Liberty Bible commentary set, it's hard to get on camera, there we go. This was 10 bucks. This should sell for around 50 to 60 dollars. We've sold these in the past used for around 40. I'm thinking at around 50, maybe 60 plus shipping since this is in new condition. April also picked up a few books here. I'll go ahead and throw some comps on the screen. And there's a Bible. And then this was pretty cool. This is like the only thing that I actually got. $12.50 for it. And these are vintage from 1994. Vintage Ikea curtains. And they're like a picnic blanket pattern. But I couldn't find anything on eBay under the Gretchen name. So I'll look around, comp them. Other curtains that are new vintage from Ikea are selling around $60 to $70. So I think that's going to be around the price point of this, around 70, maybe 75. So 12, 50 and 75 there, that's not too bad. All of those items cost us $66. I think we're going to be able to flip them for around two to $300, which is pretty good. But what is even better is what I'm about to go show you right now, because this was a pure profit sale. I had to drive out here to the shed because I thought it was gonna rain, but actually it is raining right now, but it's very sunny, which is weird. So had a few recycled boxes. I like to use recycled boxes when I can. I mean, I use them because they're free, but if it helps the planet at the same time, I guess that's good too. So we're back here in the shed and right now I'm gonna show you the box like this that sold for $150. There it is. There's the box right there. This is from my own personal collection. I used to be a huge Halo fan, almost to the point where I was a Halo fanatic back when I was in my early 20s. Even though I don't really have the Xbox anymore, I kept this box all these years. And I had some other video game stuff in it, kind of like these um, Modern Warfare 2. And there's like a couple game guys in here that I'm going to list. And like, here's another Halo 3 box that I thought would sell. If you remember when you bought the video game, the helmet came in this box. So uh, if you got the special edition, ultimate edition, Halo 3 version of the game. So yesterday I started cleaning out my closet. No, not the Eminem song. I was actually cleaning out my closet because it had gotten just overpacked and junky. And I said, I've got to, got to clean a lot of this out. So when I was going through some things, I found that box up in the top of the closet. I had forgotten it was even there. And I was like, huh, I wonder if the box would sell on eBay because I've seen on other channels where video game boxes do sell. So I decided to look it up and I was very, very surprised when I found out that I could list this for over $150. I originally had that box listed at 160 and it sold the same day. I had somebody offer $150 maybe five hours after I listed it and I immediately accepted it because I have no money into this item. This is a pure profit sale and I love finding things like this, especially that's just laying around the house that I can flip on eBay for a big profit. Here's what the box looks like. It's got the picture of the Xbox. And if you ever find that while you're outsourcing, make sure you grab it because that does have some value on eBay as well. And it's got, you know, Master Chief, everyone's favorite Spartan on this side. So, yeah, I was super excited and really blown away that this sold for $150. This isn't the only video game box that's worth money on eBay. If you find stuff that is old, and it doesn't even have to be that old. I mean, I don't even think that Halo 3 is technically vintage 
because it came out after I graduated high school and I graduated in 2005. I think it came out in 2007. So technically that's not even vintage, but video games and the video game culture is very sought after and people will pay up big money to find those pieces that will complete their collection. So if you see items like that box out in the wild, make sure you grab it. Even if the game or the console isn't in it, take a step backwards, type in box only into the description on eBay and see if you can find any sold comps. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this super short and to the point video. If you did, make sure you let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you're new here, feel free to click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join the family here at Resale to Rome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a couple minutes. I hope you have a great day and I will see you on the next video.